What to do when your wife cheats on you? A step-by-step -step guide to navigating the pain. Infidelity can feel like a stab to the heart. When you discover that your wife has cheated on you, your world may feel like it's crumbling. Questions flood your mind. How could this happen? What did I do wrong? What should I do now? These thoughts are natural, and the pain can be overwhelming. However, in such a situation, it's crucial to handle things with care, clarity, and calmness. This article will guide you through the best steps to take when your wife cheats, helping you navigate the storm and emerge stronger, whether that means rebuilding the relationship or moving forward on your own. 1. Take time to process the shock. The initial discovery of infidelity often leaves people in a state of shock, anger, and deep hurt. It's easy to feel compelled to react impulsively, whether by confronting your wife immediately or making drastic decisions. However, it's essential to pause, breathe, and take time to process what's happened. Avoid lashing out or making major life decisions during this period. Your emotions are raw and reacting in the heat of the moment may lead to regret later on. Give yourself space to calm down, reflect, and think about how you want to proceed. Example. If you've just discovered text messages or heard the news from someone else, instead of immediately confronting her or making a public scene, take some time to gather your thoughts. This step will help ensure that your next moves are measured and controlled. Two. Seek emotional support. You don't have to go through this alone. Infidelity is an emotionally intense experience, and it's important to lean on trusted friends or family members for support. Sharing your feelings with a close confidant can help you release some of the pent-up frustration, sadness, and confusion. Hearing their perspectives might provide clarity as you start to form a plan for what to do next. If you don't feel comfortable talking to someone in your personal circle, consider seeking professional help from a therapist or counselor who specializes in relationships and infidelity. They can provide an unbiased perspective and guide you in managing your emotions and the next steps. Example. Calling a close friend who's always had your back and saying, I need to talk, might be the relief you need. A therapist can help you dissect your emotions in a safe, structured environment, giving you tools to cope with the stress and betrayal. 3. Gather the facts. Before confronting your wife, make sure you have solid information about the affair. It's important to know what you're dealing with to avoid any miscommunication. While it's painful, knowing the extent of the infidelity can help you determine your course of action. Ask yourself. How long has the affair been going on? Was it a one-time mistake? Or has it been an ongoing relationship? How did you find out about it? You may not get all the answers immediately, but having some sense of what occurred will help you address the situation with clarity. Example. If you found suspicious messages or noticed uncharacteristic behavior, carefully collect any evidence before approaching your wife. It's better to have the facts than to act on mere suspicions. 4. Confront your wife calmly. Once you've taken time to process your feelings and gather the necessary facts, it's time to confront your wife. Choose a time and place where you can have a serious, private conversation without distractions. It's crucial to stay calm during this discussion. Raising your voice or allowing anger to take control won't help the situation. You'll need to express your feelings, ask for answers, and discuss what the future might look like. Start the conversation with, I need to talk to you about something serious. Then proceed with what you know. Listen carefully to what she has to say. Whether she admits her mistake or becomes defensive, try to remain composed. Example. If she opens up about the affair, ask her direct questions like, why did this happen? Or is this something you want to continue? These questions can give you insight into her mindset and whether reconciliation is possible. 5. Decide whether to stay or leave. Once you've had the conversation and understand more about the affair, it's time to decide whether you want to try and salvage the relationship or part ways. This is not a decision to make lightly. 
So give yourself time to consider your options carefully. Staying with someone who cheated doesn't mean you're weak. Many couples are able to rebuild their relationship after an affair with time, effort, and professional help. However, if trust has been broken beyond repair, and you feel that the relationship can no longer provide you with the emotional security you need, leaving might be the best option. Example. If your wife seems remorseful and expresses a desire to work through the issue, you may decide to attend couples therapy together to rebuild trust. If the affair has destroyed your trust, and she shows no interest in mending the relationship, it might be time to consider divorce or separation. 6. Seek counseling or therapy. Regardless of whether you decide to stay together or move on, professional counseling is highly recommended. A therapist can help both individuals and couples navigate the intense emotions brought on by infidelity. If you choose to work on your relationship, therapy provides a structured environment to rebuild trust, improve communication, and address the underlying issues that led to the affair. If you decide to leave, therapy can still help you process your feelings and heal, providing you with tools to move forward in a healthy, positive way. Example. Whether you go together or individually, professional guidance can be a game-changer in helping you understand the situation and prevent further emotional damage. 7. Rebuild trust if you decide to stay. If you've chosen to work on your marriage after the affair, rebuilding trust will be one of the most challenging and time-consuming steps. Trust is fragile and can take months or years to fully restore. You'll need open and honest communication from both sides. Your wife must demonstrate her commitment to rebuilding the relationship through consistent actions and transparency. Likewise, you'll need to work through your feelings of betrayal and learn to trust again. Couples therapy can provide a safe space to work through these challenges. Example. Set boundaries together such as open communication about where she goes or what she's doing. Gradual trust-building exercises can help you re-establish a sense of security in the relationship. 8. Focus on self-care. Throughout this painful journey, don't forget to take care of yourself. Infidelity can damage your self-esteem and mental health. Engage in activities that bring you joy, whether that's hitting the gym, spending time with supportive friends, or pursuing hobbies that make you feel good. By focusing on self-care, you'll be better equipped to handle the emotional stress that comes with navigating infidelity. Example. Taking a weekend trip to clear your mind, joining a fitness class, or simply spending time outdoors can help you regain a sense of normalcy and strength as you process the pain. 9. Consider forgiveness, even if you separate. Whether you decide to stay or leave, forgiveness can be powerful. It doesn't mean you condone the betrayal, but it allows you to release the anger and resentment that could otherwise weigh you down. Holding on to those negative emotions only prolongs the pain. Forgiveness is about healing yourself, regardless of what happens with the relationship. Example. Writing a letter to express your feelings, even if you never give it to her, can be a form of release, helping you let go of some of the emotional burden. 10. Move forward with clarity. Ultimately, whether you choose to stay in the relationship or part ways, focus on moving forward with clarity and confidence. Understand that infidelity doesn't define your worth, and life will continue after this painful chapter. Moving forward doesn't mean forgetting the past. It means learning from it and making decisions that align with your personal growth and happiness. Example. If you choose to rebuild the relationship, set clear expectations for both of you moving forward. If you part ways, create a plan for your future that prioritizes your well-being and emotional health. Final thoughts. Discovering that your wife has cheated on you is an incredibly painful experience, but it doesn't have to define your future. By taking a calm, measured approach, seeking support, and making thoughtful decisions, you can navigate the complexities of infidelity and come out stronger on the other side, whether that means salvaging the relationship or moving on to a new chapter in life. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.